to my channel. So if you are into bags just as much as I am, then you're going to love my channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want me to bug you almost every single day, then hit that little bell so you are notified of all my upcoming videos. All right, so today's video for you is kind of like a two-parter. A reveal and I'm going to do a comparison why I have it out. So I got a package today and I am obviously not done with my coach obsession um, and in particular rogues. I am like obsessed with the rogue bags so I ordered this guy right here and this is the rogue 25 in midnight navy so it's really really dark deep navy um it's actually coming off on camera pretty good with the border rivets in the aged brass hardware love 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 this bag it's so stinking cute just look at the color of this when you're not in this bright bright lighting it actually looks like it's black when i first opened up the package and saw it inside the plastic bag. I actually thought it was black. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have another black one. But I, I was gonna be okay with it. But anyway, and then I got it out of the bag and I realized it was actually just really dark midnight navy. And so it, the name is very fitting. I love this midnight navy color and this aged brass hardware is just really doing it for me. Absolutely love it, gorgeous. And on the bottom, of course, it says the Genuine glove tanned pebbled leather right there. And it did come with the, the two hang tag things. And it did come with the dust bag. Thank God. Because I keep my rogues in the dust bags. I just love the rogues. They're amazing. And then here's the shoulder strap. Or of course you can connect them and make it a cross body. As well. But yeah. So there's my cute little rogue 25 midnight navy with border rivets. Absolutely love it. Oh, and the inside is kind of like a, uh, oh gosh, it's almost like a burgundy color, suede interior. I really like it. I think it's a nice contrast to the, to the dark midnight navy color. Oh, and it, let me redo the tag really quick too. It's uh, model number 30456, if you're interested at all. Love, love, love this. I'm just obsessed with these rogues. I really just love the rogues. I really do. I'm like totally obsessed. I just can't, I can't get over it. So cute. Okay, and then the inside of it, I will show you. It's just the, the that same lining. And of course the zippers are amazing. So it's just got that lining on the inside. It came with the dust bag and the care booklet. So that was awesome. Uh, mine's in really great shape. It was not in manufacturer packaging, but at least there's nothing missing. So I'm happy with that. And it's not like damaged, like the handles and stuff, like, cause this is like a smooth leather on the handles. They're totally fine. They're not scratched or scuffed up or anything like that. The hardware too looks really nice, but it's also, you know, aged brass hardware. So it's gonna look like that anyway. And just the border rivets, I love how it, like it's on both sides there, it, like, you see that? It just really gives it something extra and I really like that. And I'm not too crazy about this detail, but it doesn't really bother me either. On here, it's tea roses. So that's a little tea rose and then these little rivets here where it holds the handle from on the inside there. Those are all little tea roses. Isn't that cute? Not really a big fan of it, but it's not really, because it's that aged brass, like if you hold it out, you know, like farther, you don't really notice it. So it's not like it's popping out flowers to me. I mean, like even from this distance under these bright lights, it's hard to probably tell from this far away that those are little tea rose flower things, right? Okay, anyway, so there's that. Oh, the retail on this is 650 bucks, just so you know. Um, and yeah, there we go. All right, I wanted to, while I had this out, and I had this Dreamer, it was sitting on the shelf behind me just a minute ago, I thought I would do a quick comparison for you. So from what I'm understanding, this 
is the regular size Dreamer, and then these two behind me, those are the 36s, and this is the regular size, from what I think people said in my comments because I asked. And this is the Rogue 25. So I want to show you, side by side, what they look like, because they're very, very close in sizing. I noticed that immediately. Very close in sizing, and the sides here, you can even see, like, the... Uh, depth of them is very very similar and then we'll do the bottom actually hold on let me figure out a better way to do this maybe like this I don't want the strap in the way okay and then there's like the bottom and you can see the well the robe looks a little bit deeper but then the dream is just a little bit longer but they're very, very close, obviously, in size. So I think this is a perfect comparison, especially if you're looking at either one of these bags, or maybe you already have the Rogue 25 and you don't have a Dreamer. This is a really good comparison for you. And I'm gonna, I have the tape measure out, so I am gonna measure it. The strap on, the, like the top carry straps, you can see on the Dreamer, they're a little bit longer for just the regular grab handle straps, like that. And then the Dreamer just comes with the long, one long adjustable crossbody or shoulder strap. And then let me hold up the Rogue with its two straps, because the Rogue has got the two straps, the Dreamer just has this one. And, okay, here we go. This is kind of like, actually, let me scoot back. You can kind of see if I do it like this, you can see the difference there which this can be adjusted all the way up to here. So you're looking at like, really like that. You can make it smaller like that. And then on the other side too, actually, there's like holes here. That's interesting. Why do they have it like that? I'm kind of confused now. Maybe to double it up or something? I don't know. Anyway, let me, now I'm going to take the, this thing and the straps and I'm gonna connect them. So we're gonna do this. Cause I wanna see how long this is compared to that one. So then you can do it like that where you can connect them so it's a really long shoulder or crossbody. Cause I can wear this crossbody. So let's compare it side by side on the longest setting of the Dreamer. So let me have it. <laughs> They're really close. I'll measure them. The, the Rogue, it's a little bit longer on the Rogue. It is, and I have it on the longest setting on the Dreamer, don't I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's a little bit longer on the Rogue the, for the long strap when you connect them like this. And they connect like the same way, diagonally. So you can kind of see that there. Okay, now let's measure. Let's measure the longest strap drop on the Rogue, okay? Got my handy dandy <laughs> measuring tape. So let's hold it like this. And I'm just gonna hold it right in the center here and then put it down to the top part of the bag right here, okay? I can't scoot back any farther. <laughs> And we are at, hold on. Twenty-four inches. So from the the longest part to the top just the top here, it's twenty-four inch strap drop. Okay? That's a good that's a good drop. Let's see what the dreamer is. I know it's a little bit shorter. And the same thing, I'm gonna measure from the middle up here to just the top part of the bag right there, okay? Here. So from here up to there. And this one is 22. So the Rogue's strap drop on the longest part is 24 and then 22 inches. That's the difference, okay? Now, let's do it for the top handle portion. On the Rogue, it's going to be shorter. So I'm going to do the same thing, 
just in the center here to the top part. I'm not going to go where the zipper, just the top part of the bag there. And that is four inches on the Rogue. And the Dreamers strap drop is going to be longer. So same thing, center there to the top part here. And we are at six inches. So two inch handle, top carry handle drop there. All right. And then I know the Dreamer, this can be shortened up quite a bit, like I said. Let me just, oh, it's like configured really interestingly. Why do they have holes on both sides? Can somebody tell me this? Am I, am I missing something? What am I missing right now? Why is there holes on both sides when there's only one buckle? Can somebody please tell me what's going on? Do they just want it to like match or something? Because I don't know. But I can shorten it. So let's see what it is at the shortest. And then I'm going to put the rogues back to the double straps for the shoulder. How about that? So in case you're interested, you'll know. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna undo it again, so I'm just gonna measure it just like this really quick. The shortest setting is measuring at, hold on. Mm, that's like eight, 18 and a half inches, 18 and a half, okay? And then the Rogue, if we put that back together with the double straps then, which this is how I pretty much just carry it, but. So from here to, to there, there, you're at 11 inches. So there's that strap drop for you. So really, both bags, they're pretty versatile. I mean, you can definitely adjust how you want to carry them. I think that's pretty awesome with bags when you have that option to carry them multiple ways. I think that really just adds to the, you know, we talk about cost per wear, right? So if it's a bag that you're going to wear a lot more because it's more versatile, then it's going to be worth whatever it costs to pay for it. Because I just showed you how to change up the straps and wear it multiple ways. And the sizing between the two is very, very similar. I and Because this has rivets on it too. I don't know if you can, you know, you can, you can see that. So it's got rivets on it also. I wanted to show you, show you that. So there we have it. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea as far as sizing and stuff goes. Oh, let me measure the body of the bag too. So for the Dreamer... The length on this one is 11 inches wide. The Rogue is 10 inches wide. So like I kind of showed you, the Dreamer is just a little bit wider, but the depth is going to be a little bit, I think, like maybe an inch bigger on the road. So let's do the depth now. And the depth is, I'm doing it like rivet to rivet. So five inches in depth. So this way. And then the Dreamer. is four inches. So I was right, like an inch difference there. And then the height on them, they're really close in height. They've gotta be really, they're very, the Rogue is just a little bit taller, just a little tiny bit. Let me see, maybe an inch. The Rogue's eight inches high and the Dreamer is seven inches high. So there we have it, you guys. The setup of them is very similar. So again, if you haven't had a chance to see either of these in person, or maybe you just have a Rogue, or maybe you just have the Dreamer, I don't, you know, whatever one you have, this you can compare. This is a really, really good comparison. And the price point obviously is quite a bit more on the Rogue at this, what is it, 650? And then the Dreamer, 
the retail on that was $5.50. So that's a $100 difference between the two bags. I will say that I think that the Rogue is going to be a little bit more durable, and that's because this has got this is the pebble leather. It's a pebbled glove tan leather, and the Dreamer's leather is all that like smooth like calf leather on there. So it's going to be a little bit more prone to scratching on the Dreamer than on the Rogue. But if you're really careful with your bags, like I am, you really can't go wrong. And then of course the setup on the Dreamer and the Rogue is very similar. They have one main zipper compartment and then of course the pockets on either side. So extremely similar as far as the setup goes on these two bags. They're both awesome bags. I really like that I have both of them because they do, I feel like they do look totally different. They're like so similar, but yet they're so different from each other. Cause this has got, you know, the chain detailing right here, which is basically where the extra strap, the drop is on there. So there we have it. Um, and yeah, so hopefully this helped you guys. I think this is the only dreamer I'm actually going to keep. The two behind me, I believe I am actually going to uh, have those up for sale. I I just decided I really like this dreamer and then did I say rogue or dreamer? I don't even I'm getting rogue and rogues and dreamers and there's too much going on. Anyway, these two back here, so Mr. Snakeskin Suede Buffalo Calf Leather and then Smooth Leather 1941 Saddle Dreamer 36s. These are for sale. So if you're interested in them, please send me a email. I will not reply to comments. You're going to have to email me if you're interested in the bags. That's how I do all my bags when they're for sale. If you're interested, you have to email me and then I'll give you guys pricing and stuff like that. So anyway, hopefully that was able to help you guys. And until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later. Bye.